My name is Melinda Lazinski, and um, I would consider myself a painter, but I work in an interdisciplinary practice. I use many different materials, uh, mostly paint, acrylic paint, um, a lot of found materials, things from dollar stores, things that are collected. Lately I've been using a lot of paper making materials, adding uh, powdered marble. Um, I work with ceramics a lot, um, so clay and glaze, more traditional media like that. Uh, my process usually starts with finding something that I can use um, as a base for a painting or a sculpture. Um, I like to work with assemblage a lot and kind of uh, find material from where, where I am. Um, and then build upon that from there with uh, paint and texture. So it's really a process that takes a lot of layering, waiting for things to dry and continuing to add texture so that it feels like um, the, the materials are really piled onto one another. I've always enjoyed making things since I was a kid, whether it was uh, drawing or you know making clothes for my Barbies, something like that. So um, I just have a natural inclination to find things and collect them and make them into something new. So when people look at my art, I want them to get a sense of joy, um, a sense of maybe wanting to touch the work, um, to investigate it more. A lot of the materials that I use uh, have different connotations, so some of them are more associated with uh, craft or things that are considered more uh, girlies, like glitter or um, you know bright pink plastic objects from the dollar store, combining those with things like oil paint or clay, like porcelain. Um, you're kind of mashing together these different associations with material. For example, this sculpture um, is made with uh, red clay underneath from Oaxaca, and then it's coated with found confetti, so something that's a really kind of temporary celebratory material, um, caked with paint, so it gets really kind of gooey. And then there's also some crushed opal, so something that is a lot more of uh, maybe fine art material or something that's associated with high craft. So they're really taking things from a lot of different uh, worlds within one piece. So these pieces on the table here came from a recent residency in Mexico City at El Sur. So it was a time to experiment with new uh, materials and new processes. So I was researching different materials such as um, a mate paper, um, which was a material that was banned by the Spanish. So that adds another kind of really interesting layer to me about the history of the material and where things are coming from. Um, and combining them with this clay that's taken from uh, Oaxaca and then colors that are also drawn from uh, the buildings in the area where I was staying and combining those even with some found uh, crystals from the residency that were left behind from other artists. So kind of all collecting into this um, representation of an experience. 